Your Excellency, my people have told you here that they voted for you 8%. You have never called me to even give me a call for that 8%. They will see a war, but I don't know when I will help out to buy uh, other clothes. <laughs> Instead of appreciating, you are now blaming me for just it. What do you want? I got from your brother, you know? Mr. Lamera, why is she near call? I think I will have to go and uh, do the shopping myself. <laughs> your grandchildren are very naughty, particularly when you are here. They behave like real children, so they are very happy when they see people like us talking. But I want to say that the people of Lango and we members of the family are very happy to receive you back in Otuke. And we know that when a big brother comes, something always happens. And we, the, the people of Lango, particularly this family, and it is important you get to know the historical foundation of this place where you are. There are two clans which are very influential here. The, the clan of Kotikokin, where Machibuo Guanimora comes from, and the clan of Ugora. Now, for you to come on this day, when Lao is doing a ceremony called Jokuburu, after the burial of our son, we really feel blessed, and we really want to thank you. We want to thank you in a special way, because the recommendation that Parliament sent to you and to the government regarding uh, elevating the status of the late Machogogo, you received it very well and we want to thank you that uh, this one will definitely be posthumously elevated because of the good work he has done. We love him because of security and I don't think any member of the opposition was worried about Masogogo going to parliament. He could have been elected over and over because we were always appreciative of the work he did. Love, love, peace. And that's why Lango has been the center of refuge. When you want peace, Lango is the answer. So I'm very happy that you have taken that matter very, very seriously. Secondly, Your Excellency, as we want to reconcile ourselves, and bring the, the menace of cattle wrestling to, to an end. It's okay. Uh, I think we need to change our language. This is just an advice. I know this matter was raised in Parliament, and I know you are taking it up seriously. Let us change our language. Let it not be Karamojo Raiders. Let it be cattle Raiders. Because this thing has now been commercialized, we know there are people from across the world now who have now become part of Katarasla. So why do we target Karamojong when actually we want Karamojong to help us to deal with the matter? We don't want the Karamojong to think we are targeting them. Because they are also victims. That cattle is also being raided. So that's one way that we could bring the Karamojong to be part and parcel of the solution to this problem. And uh, finally, just to give you advice, yes, my brother. <laughs> you, know, you know the thing is some of the things that we talk as a family sometimes people think when we talk as a family we backbite them but sometimes it's good to talk publicly they, they know that there is nothing to backbite anybody about it is important that when it comes to command leadership matrix involve the local the voice of the local matters a time of crisis. And that's, that's why Matugo was a big solution to our problem. So now, when you give me your command matrix, Mr. Nabachu, sorry, Mr. Nabachu, Mr. Rainau, Mr. Abu, you know, I, I can't pronounce their names properly. That's my basic problem. But let's have a Samukero team, something that also, so that, uh, you know, I think you have been following uh, you have been following my recent trip to Mbarana. I have a clan in Mbarana, and you know it. 
I have been going to Marara. Some of the some of the places you left there, like the building of the mosque, the city mosque. I followed it up, and they have told you go and talk to your brother. So I have a clan there, and you know how much I love those people. I have a clan in Bugisu, and you know that I can't hide it. I was educated in Acholi, and you know that. And you know that all these are my brothers and sisters and cousins and uncles. And uh, uh, you know, you and me were in UPC. We even translated the common man's chapter. They have never thanked us for that. <laughs> and you know, and you know now, I'm, I'm here to answer everybody's problem. Including you, Your Excellency. You are in UPM when I was not in UPC, but now we are all trying to help Uganda to be united and to bury the past. That's what we are concerned about. So, Your Excellency, allow me to say, let us just change slightly the command matrix. Let us also help our sisters who are in the military uniform. Because when I come, I'm very comfortable with General Nagweso. But when I see some of these young men, I don't know, sometimes my home is, is pulling, I want a lady to come and help me fix it. But now if the old men, they fear me, say, ah, leave the old lady alone. But so, I think, improve the women, let them be visible in the military. And at this point, I want my two daughters, I have two sets of daughters here, one I've already I celebrated with you in 2017 in Doko. I think that one I'll not show them to you now. Because you work with them every day. I have two daughters. One you gave me is the RDC of that place. The second one is DPC of Doko. And let nobody bring any insecurity in Doko. They are commanded by women. Try. Can my two daughters come out? <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. Where is my DPC stand here? I want Dokoro, Your Excellency, I represent Dokoro. And I can see Otuke has also come. I have no problem at all. I'm telling Your Excellency, with these women, with these women, 